Uh, somebody who speaks very clearly, like the ring of a bell, ladies and gentlemen, is a man who marches out of the wilderness, the deserts of Texas. A man who served this country in the armed services, a man who knows what it's like to serve this country in politics and on the field of battle, and a man who uh, has no fear. Wesley Hunt of Texas joins us now. Wesley, thank you so much for being on the program. Whoa, you are Texas out, baby. All Whoa. day. I'm home. I'm on recess. I get to be home, man. <laughs> Texas out. All, all right. Day. We're going to start off the top with yeah. some. I want to talk all about Joe Biden's corruption. I want to start off the top with something that I thought was so rad from you. You said, you said Pride Month. How about American Pride Month? That's what we're going to do now. Talk yes. to me about it. American Pride Month. Now, as you know, I love this country because this is the greatest country in the world, and I'm a product of it. I went to West Point. My brother went to West Point. My sister went to West Point. My dad's retired colonel in the Army. 60 years with the military service just in my immediate family, and that can only happen in what I think is the greatest country in the world. Now, we have a Veterans Day. We have Independence Day. We have Memorial Day. And last month, we just celebrated Pride Month. Well, what I want to do is I want to challenge all these woke corporations to wave old glory, our flag, just as proudly and as, and as high as you wave the rainbow flag. That's the point of this. We've got to start teaching our children and our posterity that this place is good. And while we're not perfect, it's as good as it gets in the entire world. And that's why I want American Pride Month to talk about our history every single day and to challenge these corporations to show how you feel about our country. Yes. So this is you, you, you have to in order to have a successful country, you have to be proud of it. You have to be proud of your history. You have to be proud of where you came from and you have to have a vision as to where you're going. And right now, it feels to a lot of people, especially in my audience, as though we're run by a criminal cartel. As though there is a cartel that has a mafia boss at the head of it and has mafia lawyers like Merrick Garland, and they are destroying the country through a dual system of justice and through really like letting people get away with murder. So can you take me through, you're on the Judiciary Committee, yes. can you take me through what Republicans have in store? We've covered McCarthy threatening impeachment. Where are we at? Yes. So- being on judiciary, we have the responsibility of conveying all these wrongdoings to the American people. And I can assure you that Jim Jordan has a plan to do just that. But I want to talk about what happened on January 6th. That just five days mm. later, they brought articles of impeachment against President Trump. Guess mm. what? If, we re if we're really serious about this and we really want to get after this, we can operate on this and have articles of impeachment done within five days. And I think we now have a case. And I want to tell you this, man. I, quite frankly, don't think it's politically savvy enough savvy enough for us to actually uh, bring up articles of impeachment against Joe Biden. You know why? Because I want to run against this guy. A hmm. crash dummy can run against this guy and, and, and win. He shakes hands with air. He's falling down the stairs. He clearly is not competent enough to do this job. But guess what? He has pushed our hand enough, and now we have to do it. These crimes are utterly ridiculous. You're talking about who the big guy is, him, 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 him funneling $10 million to his family through his son. Do you know how much $10 million is? That's $9 million more than $1 million. That is actually <laughs> real money. You're looking at this. You look at what's happening with Hunter Biden and, 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 and the, the tax evasion issue and the gun charges and this and this the, the duality of this system that the, that the American public – is completely and utterly sick of. And I want to say one thing that really gets, gets on my nerves. The Democrat Party is supposed to be a Democrat Party for the minority, for mm -hmm. the unrepresented minority. And they talk mm -hmm. about CRT and how racist our country is and white privilege. So guess what? Here's Hunter Biden that's benefiting from presidential pri privilege and from the white privilege that you say is so prominent in our, in our country. And what do you hear from them? Crickets. Crickets. And their hypocrisy for me is what's absolutely disgusting. You look at Lil Wayne, you look at Kodak Black, you look at Wesley Snipes, great first name, but I do pay my taxes. All these people did the exact same thing, and you hear nothing when Hunter Biden does these exact same crimes that these men got criminalized for and spent time in prison for. Where are they? What I've discovered is this. 
this country is not a racist country. This is not about white privilege. This is about Democrat privilege. This is mm. about liberal privilege. This is about the Joe Biden crime family privilege. It's about time that we pointed this out, starting with judiciary, starting with articles of impeachment. And of course, let's not forget, we have to go to Merrick Garland as well, because I think he is a Pied Piper of all of this. Yeah, I mean, listen, I want to talk about Merrick Garland, but because you brought up Kodak Black, throw his, let's throw his image up here. This guy's a rapper. This is a rapper who was on drugs and he had a gun charge. And this dude did three years in prison. Okay, it's the exact same thing as Hunter Biden. The exact, I mean, you could put it on paper, but all you got to do is change the skin color and the last name. And here we have a situation where young black men and uh, in America are going to look at this and they're going to say what? Like, how, how do you look at this any other way and say, yo, this is just absolute, this is absolute corruption uh, that is r- uh, racist in nature because of a two factor, two factors. One, Hunter Biden's white. Two, his last name is Biden. Can I point this out? Who's talking about this? Republicans. Yeah. We are the ones that just want to see equal justice across the board. Yeah. And also the world's paying attention to this, too. What if this were Donald Trump Jr.? Mm. What would be happening right now? He would be under the jail right now. It's this it's this two tiered system that this that this country is, is sick of. And I'm talking about black men in particular, because I've spoken to a lot of black men and looking at this very intently. And what happened to Kodak Black compared to what happened to Joe Biden is flat out wrong. And you can't deny what's happening here. And what just ticks me off more than anything is the fact that the left will say nothing about it. It's crickets. I'm in judiciary. They won't even touch this thing. Mm. And we're talking about black people that are in judiciary that all they do is bring up race except for when it comes to hunter biden and except for when it comes to this issue it's unbelievable to me and we are the ones the conservatives the republicans we are the ones that are bringing this up hey i don't care what you look like i don't care what color you are i don't care if you're a rapper what i'm saying is is this if you're a crackhead and you're and you're doing cocaine with Russian hookers and you and you clearly have a gun that's illegally obtained through the yeah. ATF, then guess what? You should spend the same amount of jail time as any other American that does the exact same thing. That's all we want. Yep. You're so right about Don Jr. And although although I would say I would love to see Don Jr. get some face tats. I think that'd be super <laughs> hardcore. Uh, final question on this front. What message does this send to young black Americans? You better vote Republican here in 2024. Get your mind right. If you want to continue this type of a two-tiered system, if you want to continue down the path of economic poverty like we've seen for the past two years, if you want Kamala Harris to be our president, because guess what? The Democrat Party has doubled down on Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. They won't even let Kennedy debate them. If you want that in the future, go ahead. Keep it up. Vote for Joe Biden. However, I got a very strong feeling that President Trump is going to do very well, specifically amongst black men. And I want to tell you that in 2020, he got 18.7, almost 20 percent of the black male vote. And I think in 2024, he's going to get 30 percent. And if that happens, it's mathematically impossible for the Democrat Party to win. And I think whenever we see behavior like this coming from the Democrat Party, it makes it very easy for us. We're making the case. If you want change, if you want our country back, if you want economic success, not just for black people, but for all Americans, guess what? Vote for the boss. Yo, Wesley, I mean, it really is. I don't want to I don't want to linger on this point. But like, man, Joe Biden passed the crack laws. <laughs> Joe Biden bragged on the floor of the Senate. Mandatory minimums, right? Yes. Like, he's the man who passed the tax laws. Yes. Joe Biden's the man who passed these laws having to do with uh, foreign lobbying. Yes. Everything that Hunter has been accused of. Uh, and gun, of course, gun crime. I mean, let's even I mean, well, 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 go Joe Biden, Mr. Champion against uh, assault weapons and so on. Yes. Dude, every law that guy's broke. This is the weirdest daddy issue I've ever seen. It's, every it's law something. that his dad passed, Hunter Biden had to go break like on camera. You know, you know, the 94 crime bill is one of my all time favorites, as you can probably mm. imagine, and how it disproportionately impacted black men in the country for the future. Mm. And, and it wasn't even addressed until who did it? Donald Trump. President Trump was the one that repealed a lot of the ills of the 94 crime bill while he was the president of this country. Let's stop lying to the American public. Look, what I understand about the people of this country are this. They're sick of this. 
They're sick of a two-tiered system. They are sick of what's happening at our border, and they are sick of what's happening with the privilege that we are seeing with Hunter Biden just because he's the son of a president and just because he's white. And we are sick and tired of the Democrats falling silent when they're supposed to be the party of the minority, the party of equality. This is not equal. This is unequal justice, and we all know it. I want to move on to Merrick Garland because this is really big. I think that you are making a huge correction here for the American people in targeting of Merrick Garland because he is clearly the mob boss here. He's he's clearly the guy, the, the mob lawyer, right? The guy who's protecting the boss. The boss is sitting here. The, the boss is out to out, out to lunch, right? Like he's sitting there. He passes prime. Yes. Merrick Garland is the protection racket around Joe Biden. That was his sole goal. It's starting to become very clear to us. The sole purpose to put Merrick Garland in that position is a bitter old ex-girlfriend didn't get the ring. He didn't get his Supreme Court seat. Now he's going to take that all out on everyone and he's going to protect Joe. So he's you're got- going after Merrick Garland. Can you can you block and tackle that for our audience? What's going to happen next? We have a date for McCarthy. McCarthy says impeachment inquiry. Here's the date. Uh, what's happening? Here's, so here's, here's, here's actually what's happening. This gentleman is, is responsible for weaponizing the DOJ against a former president. Let me say that again. He is responsible for weaponizing the DOJ against a former president, a former head of our state. This is not a banana republic. This is, this is the greatest country in the world. And I cannot believe that this is happening. This is what you see in Cuba. This is what you see in Venezuela. And at the end of the day, the American public has to make a decision over the course of the next few years. Are we going to continue to allow this to happen or are we not? So what can we do about it? We have got to point out the hypocrisy. We've got to continue to point out the two-tier justice system like we saw in the Durham hearing. We've got to continue to bring these people forward and question them and to, to continue to make the case for the American people. Mm-hmm. Now, I want you to know something. Congress cannot put someone in jail. That's actually not our constitutional duty. But on judiciary, we can bring up articles of impeachment and expose these people for who they are, and then it goes to the Senate. Now, if we do our job at a minimum, at a minimum, we should be impeaching this guy, and he's done far enough. His rap sheet is far enough and long enough to get this done. Wow. I mean, I would say that strategically this is a genius move because you would force the press to cover it. We cover it every single day, but it would force, like, you would have maximum exposure if you started an impeachment inquiry. Absolutely. Absolutely. And that's and that's kind of the point. You know, I get asked this a lot, Wes, you know, Wesley, so what are you going to do about it? Benny, shows like you, this is what we're doing about it. Mm-hmm. We are we are exposing this to the American public because the media is not going to do us any favors. So we need fighters in the halls of Congress that are willing to ask the right questions, that want to stand on our own two feet and say, hey, here's what's done. A, B, C, and D. It's wrong. You're breaking the law. American public pay attention. And then guess what? You have 18 months to get this right. You have 18 months to remove this corrupt regime so we can get our country back. That's the mm-hmm. whole point. And I think that starting off with Merrick Garland and then eventually getting to Joe Biden, that needs to be the sequential activity as to how we impeach these people through our Judiciary Committee. And I can, I can assure you, I've gotten to know Jim Jordan pretty well. He's ready. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we need we need fighters like Wesley Hunt. We got to get we got to get him. We get, he needs he needs backup. OK, this man's gone and fought wars for us. He needs backup in Congress. You got to get on his Twitter page. You got to follow this man. We're going to go. We've got to go. Quarter million for Wesley. We're going to we'll follow there. this man. This man's a fighter. He needs backup. He needs to be able to speak to the people when he has something to say. More importantly, Wesley, how can people how can people support you in your American Pride Month? Please, 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 please. Go to my Twitter page. Uh, follow me. Uh, my my uh, website is uh, uh, WesleyForTexas.com. Look, do you love our country or not? I'm somebody that's willing to die for our country. I'm someone that's fought for our country. And what I know is that I am speaking to the overwhelming majority of Americans in this country that that understand that if we could if we could celebrate Gay Pride Month, then guess what? We can celebrate old glory. We can celebrate those that fought for our country, not for a day or two, not just for Independence Day. How about the whole month of July? And if you are a God-fearing American love and patriot, I think we should all get on board with this. And when I try to pass this legislation, I dare someone to vote against it. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. All right, ladies and gentlemen, get over there. Follow Wesley Hunt. And ladies and gentlemen, this man is on the hunt. 
He is a, uh, <laughs> I love he's a rock star. See ya, Wesley. Thank you for being on the program. Thank you so much. You have a great day. Peace.